Now to breaking news. The family of 22-year-old Teresa De Kaiser, they have identified her body. Her body was found inside a barrel at travel trailer storage. This is in Plymouth Township. It was covered by cement. The Warren woman has been missing since June 15th. We're going live now to the now Detroit. Sanu Prakash. Sanu, what can you tell us? Well, Brad and Glenda, such a heartbreaking story all the way around. Warren police here tell me that they have just notified the family of 22-year-old Teresa DeKaiser that the body found is her. You'll recall that she had been missing for three months. You can take a look at some video. Now, police recently got tips after a newspaper article came out about her disappearance. Those tips led them to a Plymouth Township storage facility last night. That's where they found a 55-gallon drum sealed with cement. X-rays revealed the body of a woman inside. Now, they identified her through a variety variety of ways the clothing was the same as what Teresa had on when she reported to police that she was assaulted by her boyfriend Scott Woby the night of June 15th she was also identified by two tattoos and the earrings she had on investigators say Woby was the last person to see her alive there's no question that he's connected with the storage facility and uh, the trailer uh, that was left there. Uh, the trailer, you know, comes back to another person, uh, and it would, the rent's being paid by another person. But that's not unusual for a person trying to disguise a crime. He remains the number one suspect. Right now, Scott Wobie is in custody in Midland County on unrelated charges. I will have more on his troubling criminal history coming up at 5 and what's next in this investigation. You'll also hear what Teresa DeKaiser's family is saying. Our thoughts and prayers are certainly are with them tonight because they are just getting the news that they were praying they would never have to hear. For the Now Detroit, I'm Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. Tough day for that family, no doubt, Anu. We'll be looking forward to hearing from them in this difficult, difficult situation.